Okay, so welcome to lesson 7.2, translations on a coordinate system, found on page 226 of your textbooks, and the goal is to graph the results of a translation on a coordinate grid. So the only thing we're looking at today is translations, okay? So that's it, okay, that you used to call sliding, okay? But in grade 8, it's called translation. All right, so let's go over some definitions here, get these down. Okay, so image a new shape that is created when a shape is transformed okay unlike optimus prime it stays the same it just changes location on the grid okay translation vector get this down this is really important okay an ordered pair of integers used to represent the horizontal and vertical moves that describe a translation now on your grid okay it looks like the image is moving diagonally but it's not in fact it's moving first two to the left, okay, which would be negative two, okay, you're moving left on the number line, you're going up, okay, up is positive, okay, so your translation vector will be written like this, okay, square brackets, negative two to the left, and up five, all right, In easy enough, simple stuff, yes, yes it is, okay, so get this down, and copy this down as well okay this is really important right here okay it's all very important so I wrote it okay now quick example here all right so slide or as it's called now forever and always will be called translation all right so now vertices of an image are often labeled using the same letters as the original shape but with small marks that read prime here's your small mark okay so this is prime so here's a Here's A prime. These are all the same distance from one another, okay? But this moves six units to the right, okay? So it's the same image, A, B, C. This is A, B, C prime, okay? Now, if it's moving six to the right, positive. So from negative four to positive two, okay? So your uh, translation vector is six that's it it doesn't move up doesn't move down it just moves to the right six units okay pretty simple all right now get this down and try and, and try and this is in your actually no it's not in your book um copy this down take screen capture whatever you need to do okay so we will be reviewing this so don't worry too much about it but get all of this down all right now last one okay so this example translation moves the figure seven units to the left and then three units down okay so there's a there's a prime same uh, same shape okay quadrilateral same exact shape these distances are identical okay to itself but how did it move it moved seven units to the left and three units down now this unit okay sorry this shape here Okay, A is equal, okay, A is, okay, X, 2, 4, okay. What is A prime, okay, positive, no, no, sorry, negative 5, okay, so A prime okay again negative five what's the y-axis positive one okay so there you have it now translation vector now you're gonna fill all these in this is what I'm be expecting of you tomorrow so fill the rest in so get all the coordinates for this get all the coordinates for this and make sure they work with the translation vector which in this case it's seven units to the left so left is negative okay negative we're going this way on the number line left negative and down also negative okay notice when you go down it's negative so translation vector in this case okay will be, I'll write this in another color, as a translation vector, will be, square brackets, remember, 
Okay. 7 units to the left, so negative 7. Okay, 3 units down, negative 3. There you go. All right? So, so what you need to this is what you need to get done for class. Okay. Complete this A B C and D. That's for you. Okay. And B well, it should only be one. That's double prime. Alright, that should only be one. Oh, that was a big eraser. Okay, so Okay, so A prime. Okay. And your bracket. Okay. So complete this. Okay. Match it up with your translation vector. It should work. Okay. And we're good to go. Okay. So that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. I know you did. See you next day. All right. Thanks. Bye.